Hi, I'm Jonathan Dillon. I'm Microchip Technology here at ESC San Jose. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Microchip's 8-bit offerings here. We announced this new device at the show. It's the big HNF 45K22. It's one of our nanowatt devices, which means extremely low current in both active mode and also in sleep mode. Uh, in sleep mode, we're pushing it to a new low from where we've gone before in this part. And this is the board to go with it here. The nice thing about this board is we broke out the power nets. We have separate power net for the device and for the board. So things this lets you do, you can measure the current going to the device by itself, taking off all the loads that are on the board, such so things like we can light LEDs separately and not really affect our current as a result. And we can run these sensors on it. And we also have a number of powering options. This is really intended for an awful lot of battery applications and power limited other applications. So we support energy harvesters, a number of different battery types, um, <clears throat> well, also for the show and for other ease of portability and demonstration, we like to plug in USB for power. We have an LCD for built-in feedback. Basically, you can see what's going on. And over here, we have this, what we call a serial accessory port. We make a lot of existing boards where we can plug in the picket serial, just like this board here. Basically, this duplicates the same connector of the picket serial and the same protocols. So basically, we can use this demo board to talk to this board in this case, or a large number of other boards. One of our other parts we have is our enhanced mid-range cores. The demo board for these is the PIC 16F F1 evaluation kit. And here it's doing brushless DC motor control. So brushless and it's using the analog comparator, so if I just stop it for a second, it'll start to try and run the motor in open loop till it gets some back EMF to figure out how to start running it again. It's going to do that based off the analog comparator. And then we have this board here and it's basically just acting as a driver for the motor.